everyone. My name is Taylor Pekacek, and I'll be talking to you about the challenges in modern software development and show you how Atlassian is helping you solve them with a new product we're building called Compass. The center of gravity in software development is no longer around static code in a monolith. It's decomposed into different software components like microservices, shared libraries, machine learning models, CLI tools, APIs, and much more. Software today isn't just written, it's assembled with these various components into powerful systems. However, if left unchecked and unmanaged, this distributed architecture can turn into chaos, leading to frustrating amounts of toil for engineers, slower product innovation, and poor operational health, putting you in a state of constantly fighting fires. Cloud technologies have given developers direct access to abundant and sometimes cheap infrastructure. And infrastructure in this world starts to look a lot more like software, and the API-driven nature allows you to treat your infrastructure as code. This has given rise to a popular concept called you build it, you run it, where the responsibility for both the code and the infrastructure it runs on sits together and is all owned by the dev team that built it. Operations becomes a shared sport across development, platform teams, and IT. And without a good collaboration model, tooling, and support, dev teams will slow down as they try to find the right balance between innovation and stability. The decomposition of software and empowerment of these autonomous teams to build and operate means they have more responsibilities than ever. And they need a wide array of tools in their tool chain to actually get work done, adapting to ever-changing needs across the software development lifecycle. However, without a common reference point, they can easily get lost just trying to navigate across so many tools to get a particular job done. And as we moved into this new era of software development, away from static code centered around a single repository, to dynamic capabilities centered around many software components, we've taken our knowledge and put it into a product that I'm proud to talk to you about today. Introducing Compass, a developer experience platform that helps teams master the complexity of their distributed software architecture, bringing disconnected information about engineering output and the teams collaborating on them together in one place. A Compass gives you your team three things. It gives you a component catalog to track your technical and people architecture. It's a DevOps health tool to codify, operationalize, and apply engineering best practices at scale and keep your architecture in a healthy state. And it has the extensibility in apps that allow you to connect information across an open tool chain as you use more and more tools and continue to evolve in the pursuit of developer productivity and happiness within your own organizations. In other words, Compass gives you a way to invest in the developer experience within your own engineering orgs so that they are creative, productive, and happy. Let's dive in and show you what that looks like. So the first thing here is that Compass provides a unified interface combining both technical and people architecture as it evolves over time. Software components are the output of your engineering organization. Things that can be independently replaceable, upgradable, have their own life cycle, and can be assembled with other components to deliver customer value. Now, equally as important is the people architecture, understanding who owns what across people and teams within your org. This gives you a way to ensure those teams are set up to be successful with the right size, the right set of people and expertise, and the tooling to support them. To start using Compass, you can simply start adding the various software components that your developers own and operate. You can create them manually, or you can utilize our public APIs to build a more advanced sync capability if you already store those somewhere else. For example, we've made it easy to import repositories as services from third-party tool, third Git tools like Bitbucket or GitHub to get started. And I'll share more about extensibility a little bit later on. And once you have those components in, we offer a component list view, which gives you a bird's eye view of all the components within your organization, so you can find the ones that you're interested in. And with these quick filters, we make it easy to identify components that need attention, such as the ones without an owning team or with a low scorecard score. You'll see a lot more filtering and sorting capabilities coming soon into the product. Compass also has a powerful search that lets you find components by name, description, team, or labels across your entire architecture. Best of all, it's powered by Atlassian's cross-product search experience. So in the near future, you'll be able to search across all the Atlassian products you own, like Jira, Confluence, and Bitbucket, in a single place. Now, the component overview displays all the important information about a component that might otherwise be hard to find across all the various tools or not even exist at all. 
Whether you want to know how a component works or speak to the team that owns it, all the key details and metadata is here and serves as the first place to go to find your way. For example, instead of logging in a new relic and trying to search for the right name of that query or dashboard, you can search for the microservice or team that owns it right within Compass and directly link over to the query or dashboard related to that microservice. Now we've also designed Compass to integrate into your existing workflow as much as possible. And that's why Compass offers a way to define and manage components within your source code repository via a YAML file. So you can lean into existing Git flows to manage changes. This means you can define the information and definition of a service in the YAML, and it will sync back to Compass for developers to browse and interact with. The activity feed provides a single place to view all the activity happening to a component, as well as the changes happening to upstream dependencies that the team relies on to ensure their own components are working as expected. From deployments to incidents and everything in between, this provides a powerful way to see trends in activity, triage incidents faster, or spot anomalies that may need deeper inspection with links to go out directly to each one, regardless of the tool you're using. As the team starts to decompose their architecture, understanding the dependencies between components becomes extremely important. That's why we give you an easy way to track the dependencies to help you understand and visualize how components relate to one another with ease, allowing you to navigate across your architecture. Now, one way Compass lever leverages dependencies is via announcements, a way for engineering teams to collaborate on engineering specific problems by broadcasting important changes about components to the teams that rely on them. Component owners can track who has acknowledged the change and those consuming or relying on it will be notified so that they can acknowledge the request and add it to the JIRA backlog or the next sprint to pick up, preventing an incident from ever occurring in the first place. Now, of course, Compass integrates with JIRA software, which lets you easily see the relevant engineering work that needs to be worked on for a given component. For example, your team could create issue types of technical debt and start to map that against the components that they own so that they have visibility into how much they're accruing over time. And this gives them the information they need to decide the right balance between building new features versus addressing tech debt during the next sprint with PM and design. Now, metrics and Compass give you the ultimate flexibility to define and view data about the health of a component that's important to your org. Compass provides predefined metrics that come out of the box to help get you started. And our public API provides an open-ended way for you to define any metric you want, bringing information across development and operations from various tools into one place. For example, you may want to know how many security vulnerabilities exist on open source package used heavily within your organization, the average latency at the 90th percentile for some APIs on a microservice, or on a repository, the pull request cycle time or deployment frequency. Now, one of the biggest problems organizations face as they shift to a distributed architecture is keeping their components and teams in a healthy state. It's not just difficult to codify these best practices around DevOps, it's even harder to enforce and maintain it across all the different development teams and all the different components that they're building and operating. Now, we fundamentally believe that in order to move fast and innovate, to be agile, you need to have the stability and foundation to do so. And with that philosophy in mind, let me introduce you to a powerful new concept, scorecards. Scorecards help you codify development and operational best practices across tools in a single place. These can then be applied to any set of components being tracked in the catalog. For example, you could define a simple scorecard for all the services running on a production environment that combines PR cycle time, unit test coverage, reliability, and a few other things, essentially allowing you to define once and apply anywhere. Let's take a closer look at how these scorecards are built and applied across your architecture. We expect you to build several different types of scorecards, dev loop health, operational health, staging environments, security, compliance, and much more. Each scorecard can have a different owner and be applied to different sets of components. For example, you may want to apply a scorecard to all microservices or only those that are using AWS infrastructure with a label of AWS or all those that are tier one, meaning that they're really critical part of your overall infrastructure. Then you move into creating and defining the criteria that makes up that scorecard. Using all the data that you've been adding about your components in the catalog, 
fields, activity events, metrics, you can define and evaluate what healthy actually means for each one. You can give each criteria different weighting to show that some pieces are more critical than others. Just like CICD, this gives you a way to adopt continuous operations. Once created, you can get a bird's eye view to quickly see how well your architecture is scoring across the entire organization and spot the low performers or low scoring components. This allows you and your team to spend your time and energy where it's needed most. As your individual teams move to a you build it, you run it model and operations becomes a shared sport, Compass gives each of your teams a dashboard showing the components they own, the members of that team, the health of those components through scorecards, and a weekly summary of everything they need to know to keep things in a healthy state, which we call checkups. Each week, Compass will give you a weekly rollup of all the data that's related to the components the team owns and what has changed. This saves your teams a ton of time and energy and allows you to review everything in a weekly 30 minute meeting where they can identify any action items or adjustments they need to keep the health of their software components in a good state. They can add these to their JIRA backlog, the next sprint, or part of the next on-call rotation. So far, I've shown you how you can track your technical and people architecture with our catalog, how to understand and improve the health of your teams across the DevOps lifecycle, and now I want to tell you about how you can extend the product and build apps that improve developer productivity and happiness even further. First off, everything, and I mean everything that you have seen so far in the demo is built on a publicly accessible API backed by GraphQL at api.atlassian.com. And we have really good developer documentation and SDKs to get started to interact and extend the Compass data model any way that you want. Second, we also allow you to extend the UI of the product itself through various extension points. This allows you to build new capabilities and deliver it directly into the hands of your developers within a single unified experience. For example, several of our engineers built a Swagger UI app during Innovation Week that once installed, takes an open API spec and renders the APIs for that particular microservice. This really helps developers who don't own or are not familiar with the service to see what APIs are offered and how they can actually leverage it. Again, this is not native to Compass. This is a Forge app that extends the Compass product itself, but feels very much a part of the product. We also offer other extension points on the team dashboard where you can show aggregate information that's relevant to that team as well as the global extension point where you can take over the entire UI below the top navigation, letting you build entire areas of new functionality for your developers to use. And speaking of creating apps, it's easier than ever to build apps that extend Atlassian products through Forge. Atlassian Forge is our application development platform that allows you to focus on building apps, not the infrastructure. Let Atlassian handle the compute, storage, security, environments, and distribution so that you can focus on the customer value that you want or are trying to build. We have several key integrations and partners who are already extending Compass through these Forge apps and taking advantage of our APIs. These span across source code management, CI, CD, observability, and incident management tools to start. And we expect this number to grow exponentially in the coming months and quarters as we continue to grow our new app marketplace in Compass for platform engineering teams. To quickly summarize what we talked about today, Compass provides a unified interface for your internal developer experience through a component catalog to track your technical and people architecture so people can find what they're looking for, a way to understand and improve your DevOps health and implement engineering best practices at scale to have the foundation and stability to move fast and an extensible platform to customize your developer experience, integrate with your favorite tools, and continue to improve developer productivity and happiness within your orgs. Thank you for listening. Please go sign up and try Compass if you haven't already, and let us know how we can better help your engineering teams. Thank you.